In this video, I am going to show you how to play custom songs in Beat Saber. But what you need before we start this tutorial is a PC, your VR headset, and some cable that you can plug into your VR headset and into your PC. You will also need SideQuest, which I'll link a tutorial in the description, as well as a link to Amazon so you could buy that cable for your Quest if you don't have one already. Once you have SideQuest downloaded onto your VR headset, you should be able to go to your apps and then go to the top right where it says all, click on all, and scroll down to the orange yellowish color where it says unofficial. Click on that and you should see SideQuest as an app. You will go into SideQuest, click on it and you will need a phone or some type of device that you could go to SideQuest's website, the website that it shows the link to on the screen on your headset, and you'll have to type in that code so it'll make a SideQuest account for you so that you can go and scroll through all the games and try to get something. So once you have your whole SideQuest account, you will want to scroll Probably it'll be at the top section, but try to find BMBF, which I'm just finding on the website right now. You will click on BMBF and then click on the button. This is still in the VR headset. You are clicking download app slash sideload and it should pop up that it's downloading and installing and you are good. And once it's done downloading and installing, you could get out of SideQuest and go back to that unofficial apps section in your apps library, and you should be able to find BMBF there. So once you are in BMBF, you should be met with this setup screen, and this is just going to be downgrading you to the recent um, updated version that BMBF is on, because every time Beat Saber updates, it messes with every all the mods and it has to be like rebuilt every single time so it's just going to be like uninstalling your Beat Saber version that you have now and reinstalling it in a uh, earlier version so that you can play with mods but what you will do first is just click continue and then uninstall Beat Saber this is not deleting it this is not anything horrible it's just uninstalling it. You could always reinstall if you don't want mods, which I don't know why you wouldn't. You could always still play the normal songs, but it's just uninstalling it and we'll be reinstalling it in a better version so that it, mods will work. Then it will ask you to patch Beat Saber. This will allow, like it says, the ability to add custom levels to Beat Saber if you want to play them. And after a couple of seconds, you will click install modded Beat Saber. Now, like it says, you have to watch this important step, which is to click the done button after the installation is completed. Don't press the open button just yet. This is the screen that you will be prompted to either be done or open. Make sure you do click the done button. So after you are done downloading, you will be prompted to allow Beat Saber to access your photos and media and files and like you just un uninstalled it. So it will be asking you these things again. So you could just click whatever you clicked the first time, allow or deny, it doesn't really matter for the tutorial. And you should now be able to go into BMBF, scroll through, and just pick whatever song you want to play. You can scroll through what the community has made most recently, or you can go and choose or search up whatever song you specifically want to play. Like you could go for Rush E, for example. You could just play whatever song you want. And just to play them, you gotta go into Beat Saber, and they'll be right there as soon as you log in. So I hope this tutorial helped. If it did, please like and subscribe, let me know if this was helpful in the comments, if you have any questions, I will be glad to answer them. Just let me know if you have any problems and I could help. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.